Welcome back. What's going on? Today we are going to be talking about file upload vulnerabilities. And previously we have talked about this before in a couple of videos, but in this video I'm going to just uh, condense all of the knowledge I have laid down in the past videos, uh, explain about the file upload vulnerabilities, and demonstrate uh, one practical scenario using TryHackMe, Advent of Cyber, Day 2, Web Exploitation, the ALF Strikes Back. That is the practical scenario for today's video. Okay, so let's talk about the concepts. So file upload vulnerabilities. We have three ways we can bypass file upload filter. Now, technically, when we say file upload vulnerabilities, uh, most of the time it is the file extension. For example, uh, if a file, if you can, if you can upload, sometimes you can upload an image file with the PNG extension. Now, if you change the extension to .php, your file will not be uploaded. This means that there is an upload filter that checks for and that allowed extensions to be uploaded. So in this case, PNG is allowed to be uploaded. The file filter or the file upload filter will check if the extension is actually PNG and if it is not, it will uh, refuse to upload your file. Now, what about this? How about this? Sometimes, if you want to bypass these kind of filters, you would just type one dot PNG in case the PNG is the allowed extension in uh, this case, and another dot would be HP. So why were why we're doing this? So technically here, what we do, we are tricking the file upload filter into thinking that the extension actually is PNG, not PHP. How? The file upload filter will check the extension that comes after the dot. It will see that the extension is PNG, so it will allow you to upload the file. While in fact, the file is not PNG, it is .php. So that's the, uh, the shortage of these kind of filters. It's, it only checks after one dot if it is in the allowed extension or not. Now, how you can protect yourself? From these kind of bypass techniques. So technically, you would, up, you would implement a filter that won't only look after one dot, it will look for the whole file. If the file name, for example, is file png.php, it will check if there is php, uh, exe, zip, other blacklisted extensions in the file name. And if there is, it will block you from uploading the file. That's one effective way. So you have to use regular expressions. Okay, okay, that's the first uh, uh, way technique. The next technique is magic numbers. So let's say that your server, okay, has an upload filter that checks exactly like the way I did. It will check for all of the, check the file name for strings that contain blacklisted extensions. What about magic numbers? So magic numbers are numbers that mark file the file type so for every file type you have a magic number for png you have magic number for php you have magic number and these magic numbers are actually you can see them in the uh, hex editor they are represented by hex hexadecimal representation okay so magic numbers an example of a file filter that uses magic numbers for example you have a file called file.png okay now the filter will check the magic number of this file, okay? Now, if it is PNG, if the magic number is PNG, it will allow you to upload the file. If the magic number uh, is not PNG, it will block the file. Now, sometimes you can get away with uploading files that end with PHP. How? You have to change the magic number. If the magic number of this file, file.php, okay, if you change it to one that's equal to uh, uh, the magic number of PNG files, uh, the upload filter will still think that this file is PNG, although the extension is PHP, right? The extension is PHP, but because it changed the magic number, the file upload filter will think that, yeah, this file is PNG because the magic number says so. Okay, the third way is content type. All right, so in this case here, Say that 
you have a file upload filter that checks for the magic number. And if the magic number is actually uh, not indicative of a PNG file, it will block the file. How about if we intercept a request with Purpose Suite, okay, and we upload a PNG file, okay, right? And we, what we can do here in the content type, there is an attribute in the HTTP request called the content type. So content type is say text slash PHP. So basically, if you upload a PNG file and you change the content type to PHP here, your file will be uploaded. All right. This is not good. This is not nice. Let me use the eraser. Okay. Seems like my word is stuck. Okay. So let's. Oh, I raised the whole page. Anyway, okay, let's now go back to the uh, example and demonstrate the scenario. See what kind of filters we are dealing with. Okay, so deploy the machine. So this is the page. Let's take a look at the scenario. So the scenario here, we have a couple of questions. So the questions are about finding the upload page and exploiting the upload filter. So technically they have give you an ID. So this ID is given to you. We will use that ID to find the upload page. The first question is saying what string of text needs needs adding to the URL to get access to the upload page. So here there's a note saying you have been assigned an ID number for your audit of the system. Use this to gain access to the upload section of the site. So please enter your ID as git parameter. So what we will do here question mark ID equal So now, supposedly, we have now access to the upload page. All right, protect the factory. If you see any suspicious people near the factory, take a picture and upload it. Here, okay. So first, the methodology of bypassing file upload filters is first to understand the current security measures. We want to also see what are the allowed file extensions that we can upload. So one way to accomplish this is to take a look at the source code. So view the source. So we see here the upload form, input, type equal file, id equal choose file, and it accepts the following formats. So what we can do here we can try with a demo image to see if it will be uploaded successfully and we can proceed then with the bypass techniques select file let's see if i have an image okay seems like we have one unnamed what jpg upload submit okay this is the request let's see the parameters so as you can see here this is the file name, image name, ID, the Mimi, and the body. So we're going to forward and see how it goes. The file received successfully. Okay. Now, as I said earlier, the first technique we can try to bypass upload filters is to change the extension. So let's go back. 
this is the image. I'm gonna rename that. We're gonna use the command line. So move unnamed to unnamed dot PHP. Now So this is the file here. Okay. Unnamed. Okay. So what we're gonna do now, we will see uh, if we have a reverse shell, cd or yeah, ls la user share grip php. Okay. Let's get one from the internet. PHP reverse shell. Okay, we're going to create a new file now called nano um, shell php gpg php. I'm going to paste the code and don't forget to change the parameters. So, what we have to do here change the port and the IP. And the IP config so my IP is this one and now it's 34 years so what we do here we have just changed the extension or appended the desired extension and kept the jpg extension here to trick the file or filter into thinking that the file is still an actual png image uh, jpg image image okay go back select so we got this one submit so the file has been uploaded successfully so it means we have bypassed the filter now the next step is to find the upload page. So before finding the upload page, let me establish the listener. Okay, finding the upload page now. So most of the time the upload page lies in uploads directory. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is not there. So you have to search. So as you can see, we have two files, unnamed, which is the legal, legit one, and we have the uh, one that we have just uploaded, which contains the uh, reverse one. All right. So what's left now is to trigger the payload by navigating to the file we have just uploaded. Click. And you have received the first reverse one. ID. And you are not the web server. Okay, let's take a look now at the questions we have to answer. What string of text needs to adding to the URL to get access to the upload page? So it is the ID. No? String of text ID equal. Okay. What type of file is accepted by the site? Picture. image okay bypass the filter and upload a server upload a version in which directory are the uploaded files stored so we have seen that it is in uploads directory 
activate your reversal and catch it in a netcat listener we have just done this what is the flag in var dub 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 flag dot txt so find the flag cat flag txt so this is your flag Make sure to check out other videos I have uploaded on the bypass filter or the bypass techniques for file uploads. I'm going to put them in the video card so you have easy access for them. Thank you for watching.